This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories. And welcome to my review of X-Men 97's first two episodes. These are titled To Me, My X-Men and Mutant Liberation Begins. And honestly, I really enjoyed these episodes. I wasn't the hugest fan of the original series. Although I did enjoy it. It was really something that was not for me, but I really enjoyed this reboot. I say a lot more than the original, although I still think the original is good. It was just something that really wasn't fully for me. Uh, I'm not really sure how to describe it. It was just one of those things you can appreciate is good, but it's just something that you don't really love as much. But with this one, I honestly enjoyed it a lot more than I really expected. And it was pretty interesting to be able to see this more modern version of the X-Men be told while they are still connected to an original series. I think it handles with legacy really well. It is all about the legacy of Charles Xavier and his death. It is definitely be able to do a little more than the original show did, where they were able to mention death and stuff a lot more. They, for the end, you know, had to had to tone that down for network television back in the 90s, so they weren't able to be as explicit, but it is pretty interesting here to see just how freely they're using that they're on a streaming service and knowing that it's going to be mainly older fans watching it since they reference some pretty dark stuff. But first, going to the first episode, I think this is an enjoyable episode that just helped you get reintroduced to all the X-Men. Be able to see where the team is now about a year after the death of Charles Xavier and see that no, they're not handling it super well and Cyclops is going to be having a child with Jean. It is pretty interesting and going through it, the main plot of this is to resolve stuff with the Sentinels and take down Dr. Trask. And I think that it was pretty interesting. They will, considering this is a serialized show, is meaning they're most likely going to escape or build new Sentinels or something will happen later on. But for now, it's a good victory for them, even though the fact that this is based off of comics means that they'll eventually be back. But the first episode, well, I thought it was good. The second episode is what really stole to me because Magneto in this, with the exception of his costume, is incredible. And I really like how he's trying to change for his friend. It is honestly really interesting and really nice. It just shows how important these characters were to each other. And that Professor X wanted Magneto to change. It was just really nice and it was really interesting for this one. Magneto's speech to the UN was extremely amazing and the most annoying part about it was that I was kind of in the middle of it when I... I had to get off my break from work since I was going to watch this all this morning, but I accidentally overslept a little bit. So I wasn't able to finish this since I also wanted to watch Bad Batch. But still, this was really incredible, and it was super well done. I just finished this one a few minutes before. Well, it's honestly a lot longer, but... I just recently finished the episode, and it was just really intriguing to see, and I really enjoyed it, but continuing on to other stuff that was honestly just really great about it, although Magneto was a highlight for me, and I love the fact that 
his kind of find redemption and was even pardoned where he was able to find out that he doesn't have to change and wanted to do this for his friend and try to find a good path. You even have a point towards the end where you think that he's going to go back to his old ways and kill the guy that got Storm's powers. But in fact, he went and showed how much he changed and how willing he is to. And honestly, I really love that. It also seems pretty interesting that a good amount of the X-Men are retiring or leaving the team since both Jean and Cyclops are leaving to go and raise their son. Oh, that may be changed by the other Jean that showed up. That really needs to be elaborated on in the next episode to see what is going on since it seems that the gene who gave birth would be the real version since she does have her powers but also gave birth to Nathan Summers or as he's better known as Deadpool's best friend Cable and it is interesting that he's born I can't remember if he was in the original X-Men series I think he was but the Time Traveler character may only have been Bishop. So it'll be interesting to see him and maybe even see if Deadpool would show up to kind of mess with the baby of his best friend. Since it's more of a one-sided friendship and Cable really does want to put up with everything Deadpool does, but Deadpool loves the guy and that's what's kind of funny about their relationship. But I think people were thinking that Deadpool may show up and someone may be playing him. I didn't look at anything because I didn't want to get any potential spoilers, but if Deadpool does show up, I think it would definitely be to see the younger version of his best friend. But going to some other stuff that I really enjoyed, I think that everything with Gene and Cyclops was done really well. With them having to make the hard decision to leave and then also to trust Magneto. It was pretty interesting and to even have Wolverine being there and just being fully devastated that not only is Jean married to Cyclops, but that she's having his child and he loves her too and wants to be with her. It was handled really well and definitely feels like it did in that original show. But another great thing that was really interesting and surprising is the fact that Storm lost her powers and she completely left the X-Men. And through this, it seems that she left so that Jean and Cyclops will be able to go and live their own lives and not have to be stuck with the X-Men. But who knows, with this one twist, maybe they'll change their mind with another gene showing up. I do wonder what's going to be happening with that, but honestly, as I said, I really enjoyed this. My favorite part of this has to be Magneto. He was super interesting in this, and I kind of love the redemption story, but I'm just really surprised that they're going with, you know, some of these darker things we wanted to mention. And honestly, the most surprising thing is that they had that reference to how Magneto was in the Holocaust with the fact that they would never even dared mention that in the original series. With that being one of the darkest things to ever happen in human history. But I just love the speech he gave and is that how he was able to say that people who were persecuted and knew what it was like to be treated like this just for what they believed, turned around and did it to people who were just a little genetically different that originally suffered alongside them. I think that was probably one of the most interesting and well-done speeches, and Magneto is probably going to be the most interesting character in this entire series, but this is the fact that it seems like he was with Rogue at one point before she went and joined the X-Men, and... We don't know if it's fully just as she was in part of his Brotherhood of Evil Mutants or 
if they were in a full-on relationship. It seems like it really could be either way, since Magneto is one of the only people that could touch her. And I don't remember the show fully, so I said one of the only people. But maybe there's some other people who could touch her, but I'm assuming he's using his powers of magnetism, so she isn't exactly touching him. And it is pretty interesting, and since her and Gambit have had a thing, it'd be pretty interesting to see where they go with that. But honestly, I think that this was just a really interesting show. It was really fun. I do want to see where they go with it. And honestly, I want to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen. And may the force be with you.